This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey guys, this is Valerie Lauer with the iPhoneAppReview.com here with a video app review of an app that we've had this week here to review called Triple Trouble. Triple Trouble is a game that comes in two different versions. There is a, an HD version on the, which works on the iPad quite well, which is what we're looking at right here that costs $1.99. There's also an iPhone and iPod Touch only version which also will work on the iPad just in a smaller functionality that only costs 99 cents. So you definitely have a lot of different options um, as far as getting the game. Um, the game actually involves you setting up three little triples um, and there's a little bit of a storyline which we'll look at here in a minute. Now the actual game itself has a couple different features volume, you can reset your scores, there's a help file um, which is done in an interesting manner, it's actually a pinch to zoom uh, document you can go through that kind of tells you all about the game, how you're trying to match up three, um, what your status bar tells you about, the achievements you can unlock, uh, that you don't want to throw these guys off the screen, and that you don't want to fail. <laughs> it integrates directly um, that's what those are your statistics. It integrates directly also into Game Center, which we'll see here in just a second. So all kinds of stuff. Um, here we go, Explorer. So we went and unlocked that, so we have some extra credentials, which is very cool. Now there are a couple different areas. There's a meadow, a forest, a desert, and there are more coming soon. As you can tell, the user interface of this is beautiful. It's not your boring user interface that's you know plain. It definitely has some you know thought behind it and it's very well executed, which I really like. Um, again, I like the price as well. Here's a basic little tutorial. There's a cute, you know, Star Wars style <laughs> intro that I like quite a bit. It tells you the basic story. There's these little trio, sorry, triple guys that you're trying to uh, line up and that you launch. Alright, so there's a launch factor here, which is always kind of cool. Um, and when you get three or more in a row, you get credit for it up here at the top. You have to get all these in as, as you go along. Um, See, so here's your goal, rather. Um, and you can just have. So I wanted to show you guys the intro. And there are these little guys you can collect. So there's actually bonuses as well, which is really cool. Um, you can flick these guys into groups. Oops. And if you put them in the wrong place, you can actually re throw them, which is always kind of neat. Um, so here it mentions again, if you're in the wrong place, you want to rethrow, you're good to go. So it's not just three, you can do three and, or four or as many as you can get at the same time. And if you get four or more, you actually get a little boost in your score, which is really good. Um, and you want your final score to hopefully be these three stars. Now here's where you would be able to go in and look at um, Game Center. Oh, I guess I'm doing good. <laughs> and achievements, which we have some of them unlocked. Not all of them, because there's quite a few, but that's really cool. And you can move forward there to the next one to get started. Um, the levels are cool. Again, you want to be careful not to get these guys off the sides, or you do lose credit for dropping them, which is no fun. Um, there are actually a couple different colors, not just the red and the blue, but in the beginning it does go quite easy on you, which is nice. Um, and again, you got to kind of be careful. You don't want to overshoot or undershoot, but if you do, you can see you have these rethrows. There's only a certain amount of them that you have, but you can use them if you choose to, uh, which is always nice. So there's the score we got for that one. Oh, we lost a little bit, but we still managed to get three stars, and you can post your scores as well if you want to. Um, it'll also pop up occasionally ask you if you want to um, rate it, which is cool. I'm actually going to go back to the area so I can kind of show you that it does get more complicated. It doesn't get complicated quite fast enough for me. I kind of wish it was more complex more quickly, but what are you going to do? So then again, we're going to go ahead and grab that. And these fans, there's different, you know, physics game features as well. So as you play, you'll run into fans, you'll run into springs, you'll run into moving parts, um, and all kinds of different things that really do make the game interesting as you go along. And again, you're wanting to get enough up here at the top to, uh, whoop. there we go, to finish the level. And there we are. So we did three, um, but again, we didn't quite do as best as we could because there were a couple of different, you know, lost triples that we didn't get out there. And also I threw kind of one off the side of the thing, which isn't good. So like I said, again, eventually you do get more complex as you go. I haven't had a chance to take a look at the desert yet, but the extra complexities and difficulties that were in this were a nice change um, from the introductory level. Here at the iPhone app I did give this application a four and a half out of five stars. I think it's just a lot of fun. Um, it definitely has more potential than I was expecting. Um, 
and I really didn't, you know, think it would be this much fun or this addictive, and then I looked down, you know, half an hour later, and I'm like, oh, I've been playing for half an hour, I should probably go ahead and, you know, do my review and let you guys know what I'm thinking about it. But all in all, a lot of fun, um, and again, just an interesting game that's really going to be a blast to play and get used to, a triple triple the fun, if you want to think of it that way. So again, with the iPhoneAppReview.com, this has been Valerie Lauer with a video app review. Until next time.